To gaslight someone means to manipulate a person into questioning their own sanity. This is seen in abusive relationships, and even after the relationship ends, the effects of gaslighting can still progress. Consequently, it is important to identify such a relationship as soon as possible. Get rid of gaslighters from your life and keep them away from contact for at least a year, if not permanently. Gaslighting is a form of emotional abuse that gives the abuser power to make the victim question their own mentalities. Here are 10 signs to help you identify if you are being gaslighted in an abusive relationship. 1. Using your fears Abusive people often act charming in order to extract information from you and use it against you later on. They take note of your vulnerabilities especially for this reason. The abuser will want to feel like they're better than you and make sure you think that way too. For example, if you have weight insecurities, the abuser will poke fun of your weight and constantly point out people who are skinnier than you. 2. Knowing you Many abusers think and act as if they know everything about you, right down to your thoughts. If you try to claim otherwise, they will assume you are lying. They may even try to convince you that you are lying to yourself. 3. Normal changes This is one of the most obvious signs of gaslighting. If someone tries to tell you something is normal when you think it's wrong, you need to get out of that relationship. For example, if you don't want to take the next step in a relationship, but your partner calls you a prude rather than accepting your comfort levels, you should watch out. Keep in mind, abusers do not exist only in romantic relationships, but in professional relationships as well. 4. Questioning your sanity A person is abusing you, and yet you're the one that's insane? That's basically how it goes in the mind of an abuser. When an abuser does not get their way, even through manipulation, they may become more intense by questioning your sanity. You are likely to be called paranoid, hormonal, or overly sensitive. 5. Making you doubt yourself When someone says something over and over again, you are bound to believe it eventually. Because of frequent exposure to such comments, you will find yourself questioning your own judgment and may eventually give up completely and just let the other person think for you. 6. Forgetting An abuser tends to have selective memory, where they may deny ever saying anything that upset you if you try to confront them about it. For example, they may have made a promise that was never fulfilled and then claim the promise was never made. 7. Making you lie You may not usually lie, but this person may cause you to lie at times to avoid any verbal and or physical abuse to come. This lying is motivated by stress caused by the abuser. 8. Causing you to stay silent It is innate for humans to want to share their experiences, but being with an abuser may redirect that nature. You may avoid or stop talking with the abuser and may even stop talking about yourself and your experiences to everyone in general based off habit and trauma caused by the abuser. 9. Making you question your sanity Manipulative tactics can change the way people think drastically. When you are constantly trying to end an argument with an abuser, it may become easy to just go along with whatever the person is saying, but this slowly changes the way you think. You eventually start believing the abuser when they say you are in the wrong and should apologize. 10. Making you depressed Being worn down by an abuser can easily make anyone depressed. Being pushed to question yourself and your sanity will get tiring over time and eventually lead to a feeling of hopelessness. Worst of all, because you think you have issues such as paranoia and memory loss, you are likely to search for treatment for the depression and the mental problems rather than for the issue itself, the abuser. Now that you know some of the gaslighting signs, do you think you've ever been gaslighted before? If so, how did you get out of that relationship? Feel free to tell your story in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow our other social media for more psychology content and don't forget to subscribe.
Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.